Hey, I'm David with Spike It, and I'm going to be creating a rainbow trout today using Loreworks Colore water based paints. I have a black, a baby bass green, a blood red, and a clear that I'm going to be using. First thing we're going to do is use the baby bass green um, on the back. You'll have to make a few passes with it depending on how dark you want it. big trick to using it is to not go too far down the bass, I mean the trout. And if you want it darker along the top, you can come back and put some more passes of the green at the top as well. But you, what you want to work on is giving it a bit of a fade as it moves down the side. Like that there. Next step we're going to do is use a little bit of the blood red and we're going to use what's basically called a, a dry brush technique because we don't want a really bright red, we just want a hint of red. So I'm going to check and see how much I got on there, pull a little bit more off my brush and then start pulling it down the side a little bit and letting it fade out. What you don't want to do is move it up too high into the green because you'll end up getting kind of a drab brown unless you like drab browns. And then we're going to use a little bit of black and I'm using a small round brush to add a speckled pattern on the side. The big thing with a speckled pattern is to try to keep it random. You can change the thickness of your uh, spots themselves by changing a different pressure, putting a different pressure on the paintbrush as you're putting the marks on it. Of course, this, this is your little rainbow trout. If you wanted to have a perfectly symmetrical dot pattern down the side of it, you can do that too. Last step we do is use Loreworks 3D Eyes. And that's where we go back to the clear. I grab a little bit of the clear just on the end of my paintbrush. Mix a little bit into the eye socket right here. Give it a couple of seconds to set. And I pop the eye right in there. Our next step will be to dip it so we can put the clearasol coat on the outside of it. Next thing we're going to do is use our clearasol soft to coat our fishing lure, but we're going to have to first off um, heat up the clearasol soft in a microwave. It, we generally heat it to about 330 to 340 degrees and we heat it incrementally. So we'll go over uh, how we do that. First we're going to go for a minute. Now we're going to pull it out and I want to remind you that it's uh, molten so you want to be careful with it. And then we're going to stir it lightly and go back in for about 30 more seconds. You notice I'm using a metal spatula. It's basically just a cake decorating or painting spatula and it'll be the best thing to use. You don't want to use any type of wooden utensil while you're doing this. Alright, we should be ready to go. Yeah, it's good, good to go now. So, what we're going to do is take our fishing lure. 
just going to use a hook. You can use wire. I'm just going to use a hook and slide it into the rear of the fishing lure like this. And then I'm just going to take the lure and gently go in. Make sure I cover everything except maybe the base of the tail and pull it right back out. Let it trail off in there. You don't want to drip any of this on you. It's really hot. Then after it gets to a spot where you got a small line, you can just take it over and suspend it. And let it finish drying up. Here's the last step. Just come with a little pair of scissors and cut the excess drool off the top. Pull your hook out the end of it and you're ready to fish.